Hundreds of people gathered at last night's vigil in Nashville, mourning the six people killed in the shooting at a private Christian school. Singer Sheryl Crow, First Lady Joe Biden, and city leaders among those attending. Just two days ago was our city's worst day. I so wish we did not need to be here. We're learning more about the victims. Evelyn Dickhouse, Hallie Scruggs, and William Kinney, all nine years old. Overnight, Dickhouse's family releasing this picture of Evelyn, saying they're overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support. Also killed, substitute teacher Cynthia Peake, custodian Mike Hill, and school headmaster Catherine Kuntz. Smart, witty, funny, always with great advice. Trisha Drake, a former colleague of Kuntz's, says their last email exchange was about active shooter training in school. She was prepared. I'm sure they had run those drills. It could have been 40, 50, 60 people killed if not for the preparedness of her friend. Police say the shooter, Audrey Hale, was carrying two assault-style rifles, a handgun, and significant ammunition, all bought legally. Meanwhile, tense moments on Capitol Hill. New York Congressman Jamal Bowman, a former school principal, raising his voice to protest what he calls inaction from Republicans on gun violence issues. Republican Congressman Thomas Massey responding. They're gutless. We're not here. I'm talking about gun violence. You know, there's never been a school shooting in a school that allows teachers to care. Carry guns? Would you Would you more guns to more death? Calm down. That's a, I'm all their children are dying. I know. I've got None House Democrats are pushing for an assault weapons ban and more background checks, but Republicans say the main issue here isn't guns, it's mental health. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.